Good morning. We're going to do another take at this. Sorry about that. Forgot to press the record button and uh, we'll try this again. All right. Cut it out. Saturday morning. <laughs> we're here getting our ski ready for tomorrow's ride. It looks like we're going to be hitting Lake Ontario. Uh, Captain Jiggler number two got his ski prepared and um, now we're preparing mine. And what we're doing is something that we wanted to do last year, but we didn't have the time to do so. And after doing some research, we're confident we're comfortable enough to do the install of a bilge pump. So off we go. All right, so with that said, this is the uh, bilge pump. If you could uh, zoom in on that, is that the... From BRP, yeah. Yeah. BRP. So that's what we bought, wasn't cheap. Uh, and it comes with some tie straps here, the fuse, because we're gonna be uh, opening up the fuse box, a uh, bus bar down here in order to ground it. And then this rubber thing here is to wrap around the uh, the pump to secure it. Right. Let's talk about why we're considering installing a bilge pump. Um, yeah, so we've had our skis for a couple of years and we never really uh, found the need to install a bilge pump, but the only real reason we would pro we would need this if is if uh, we're out and for some reason there's a water leak. Uh, for example, down here, the, um, Let's take a quick peek what did we call this thing again? Oh, is that the carbon seal? Yeah, the carbon seal yeah. It's known for, you know, some leaks there. We haven't had any, I have a 2018 here. We have a 2020 and everything is looks good and secure. But if we do have a leak, the boat, the bilge pump will pump it out and uh, safely get us to, uh, to a dock or something. As opposed to sinking our skis. Excellent. Right, but it doesn't have a sensor to detect water. It's just on or off. And when the ski is on, it's pumping. The ski is off, it's off. All right. Okay, the next step is to, uh, or the first step is, I don't know if you can see with my finger, or I, I'll use these needle nose pliers, but essentially there's a tie strap right there. I'm touching it that you need to cut off in order to pull this holes off. All right, so I'll do that now. All right, so we got the hose out. Here it is. Um, and now you should be left with, it's very difficult to see, but I'll move this hose, is this black. Um, Let's just get down in there one more. This black clip that is epoxied to the hull right here. So we need to put the right there where my uh, screwdriver is, right there. We need to put the rubber strap on. So that's what we do next. Right there. We're gonna slide that like so. Okay. That's pretty good actually. Oh, yeah, actually I did it. There it is. So, screwdriver in there. So there it is. There's the rubber thingy right there, and I clipped it in right there. Okay. All right. So here is the tube that we removed that was from the OEM, okay? And instead, we're putting in the bilge pump and to accommodate the bilge pump, we've got to remove this portion of pipe. So we're just gonna cut it with a regular pair of snips, okay? Pipe's been cut and gently, slowly insert the tube into the nipple of the bilge pump. Sure it's nice and secure like so and then we use a little tie strap to secure it the next step is this out of the way we're gonna put the pump right in that sleeve okay There we 
we go. Once you, you'll know when it's in, when it kind of gets in there, it's really nice and snug. So right now I can't move it. It sat in there properly. All right, and the next step is to grab that rubber strap, put it around, and that's it like that. Now that strap, if you come in close, George, that strap, is gonna get mounted right in there, right there. All right, very difficult to do. A little bit of patience needs to be packed and it looks like I should go across the street <laughs> and ask him to quiet down while we're filming. <laughs> oh, really, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> All right, got that on. So that's strapped in nicely. All right, so the one thing we forgot to do is test the, the uh, build pump to make sure it actually works before we go through that uh, installation. But we're at this step, and we're going to just plug it into a uh, battery here and make sure it works. Here we go. Let's see so if we can hear it. Get in there. I don't think that's gonna bother us. No, I, between, can, I can't hear it at all. <laughs> between the motor running and the, right. the sound system, yeah. So it works good. Perfect. Okay, so now we're just gonna run the wire. As you can see here, we're gonna run this uh, the wire through here, around here, and into the fuse box. And we're gonna put one, two, three, four tie downs. And when you look at the engine, it's gonna be like a tie down uh, here. Oh, sorry. The light. So if you're looking at the engine, like so, which we are, you just follow that path. Easy. Just, so we're going to run it under here, under here, and then we're going to run it along here. And then we're going to go up through here into the fuse box. Cool. Alright, so I put in the uh, tie strap here. And I put another one here. I will put another one over here once I'm done installing the uh, bilge pump into the fuse box. Alright, so on the cap of the fuse box right here it says bilge pump right there so that's where we have to use so bilge pump will get plugged into there one wire is going to go there and the other one's going to go up here to be grounded on the bus bar so one wire goes there positive there negative there so the next step now is to remove the fuse panel. Alright, so the f we removed the, the cover that was like this off just by squeezing. And this one here, uh, how is it that? Oh, out. So you push this and this out. Oh, it's hard. Oh, maybe a screwdriver would be good. Holy cow. There we go. So that's been held on that here. So here we are. We're gonna. We need to get into there. So let's pause and then. Spaghetti. Okay, so the positive wires. Oh, so I just grabbed one, a pick here. And the brown wire is gonna go here, which is positive. So I'm gonna put this in here because. Here, come. Here, come around this way. Because there's these uh, water grommets in here, 
we need to pop them off. So for so right down there, we're gonna pull. There it is. Oh, there it is right there. And uh, if you can grab me some needle nose flower pliers so I can uh, take that little piece of grommet out. So that's why you need to remove two of these. All right. And then, oh, where's the wire? Okay, there it is. So that's positive, which is our brown one. And these things need to be pointing, uh, this is up, if you look at this design here. So, look down here, make some room so I can see. Find my uh, tool, where is it? Oh, there it is. So I can pop it in there. My pick out, and then I'm gonna push this in until I hear a clip. And that's it. So now I'm gonna pull it in and out, and I cannot. So that one's done. If you look here now, we got one and two. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna do the brown. These things come off or something? Oh, some of these are just a little bit popped off. Oh. We're not seated properly. Huh. Okay, so the next one we we'll do is ground. So we're going to use the second one in here. Same procedure. We're going to pop the rubber grommet out. And it's gone. <laughs> and now we're going to... Oh, it's already gone? It's gone her. <laughs> She's lost. You'll be found. <laughs> and we'll pop that in there. Boom. Now you can see we got another one there. So this is ground and that's positive. Done. All right, now we're gonna put the fuse back, uh, back on, like so. Line it up, push down, snaps in, and it's secured properly. Leaves it nice and nice. Okay. And uh, the next step is the fuses. So the three, three amp fuse goes to the positive. So, it's not going in. Take it, can we take a look at the three amp? There we go, put it in the wrong, there we go, right there. And then the bus bar, which is just a line of ground. Pop that in there. Grab, grab your cover. Make sure we put it right side up. Can't see, I think it's like that. Click, click. And you're done. Lickety split. So, last step is uh, as soon as you uh, plug this in, the uh, bulge pop should fire up. Here we go. Woo -hoo. And you can hear it's active, right? It's active, it's running. So now I'm going to pull the key off. Oh. The uh, pump, as you can hear, is still running. So once all the system is down, then the uh, pump will turn off, which is another minute or two until everything is uh, off. And uh, just reverse the order and you're all done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do all that stuff. Peace.